After I got married, the first movie I saw was this with my wife, just to show her how you know what all kind of training I want to go on. But then uh, obviously she was quite amused. Even I was very amused. Yes. Hello friends, I am Commodore Vijay Rawat. I retired uh, from Indian Navy after putting in 35 years of service and uh, out of the 35 years, 32 years I was in the in the mine planes diving and marine commando specializations. Today I am going to uh, give my comments on uh, whatever you see in Hindi cinema on uh, special operations and I'll also rate them from a scale of 1 to 10 to let, just let you know that how much is real, how much is not so real and what is something which just cannot be, you know, considered? अरे दिगंतो बहुत कड़क ट्रेनिंग है तू और भी नाटा हो जाएगा और बेटे अगर कहीं मेजर चौहान के ग्रुप में फंस गए ना तो कड़क नहीं कड़क दार हो जानी है This is a shot from a movie Prahar. Incidentally, when this movie was shot, uh, being shot in uh, Belgaum, uh, in Fitter School, Belgaum where all the young officers from the infantry come for this uh, 33 days of grueling, mentally and physically very tiring uh, uh, basic commando course and incidentally all infantry officers have to do this commando course if they have to get promoted and uh, I also was sent by the Navy to do this commando course in 1990 and that very point in time Nana Patekar had come with his team crew and they were actually shooting in other part uh, and they were also you know sharing uh, the resources of uh, Belgaum uh, commando school and uh, so the first thing they do is that when you come they shave you completely and uh, they make a booth out of you and thereafter the training begins and the training is very grueling it's almost uh, 20 hours of non-stop uh, physical regime so that this is called the battle obstacle course what you're seeing and this particular uh, apparatus is uh, called the Tarzan swing what Nana Patek is doing is the correct way of doing it but he's not wearing the FS pack which is 5 kg and he's not taking the rifle which is also 5 kg and the, and the water bottle so this entire evolution has to be done and the entire evolution is timed and if you don't do it within 12 minutes then you fail. What you see now is a 9 feet ditch and they just burn some uh, so that they create some fire and you have to just jump over it. Then this is the uh, smoke room, they just uh, you know just actually fire some smoke grenades and you just get into the room, it's, it's, it's a very simple drill but it's important because you do tend to get disoriented because it's not because of the particular apparatus it is because you are actually running almost one and a half kilometers. The entire obstacle course, comprising of 20 obstacles, is spread over a distance of about one and a half kilometers. And then you're not doing it when you're fresh. You're doing it, let's say, about nine o'clock or ten o'clock when you've already started the day at five in the morning. So people do get tend to get tired, and then when they get tired, then this kind of disorientation does take place. What you see now is basically a. Uh, this is called the uh, the tiger uh, the tiger leap and this tiger leap has got two parallel ropes if you climb uh, vertically for one rope and then you have to actually put your entire body weight into the horizontal rope and uh, the trick here is that the left leg has to be actually the balancing factor the right leg you have to take the uh, take the you know the, uh, the toe and you have to actually make a hook and then start pulling both with both your hands and while you're actually having your FS pack and your rifle so you see now what Nana Bhattacar does, he does a beautiful uh, tiger crawl. People are coming from Siachen, some people are coming from other deployments in the field and you know, everybody may not be that physically fit because if you're working in the counter incendiary operation scenario or if you're working in the LC, then you're constantly deployed in patrols and also your actual physical fitness levels would come down. So when you do this course, it's a 33 days course, it's a grueling course and you get up at four in the morning, start your PT at five, uh, with the first five days of five kg pack and then next five days of 10 kg pack and then you have a t speed marches of 10 kg, uh, 10 kilometers, 20 kilometers and no, 20 kilometers, 30 kilometers, 40 kilometers, all are timed and then in between you have battle obstacle course and the whole day, you are, uh, I will, I'll tell you my course, the whole day, which starts at 4.30 in the morning, gets over at 10.30, 11 at night. So obviously, they have just dramatized this that, uh, you know, people do get tend to get very tired. Uh, in this uh, scenario, if you see the rating I would give actually uh, be around 8 out of 10 because a lot of realistic uh, scenarios have been painted in this movie and I would actually compliment Nana Patekar 
because he he was there with the team for more than six months to shoot this entire thing. Okay, this uh, is the special forces operator is actually uh, crawling in the in the water, so they don't really have to wear diving set because they're actually walking. Uh, the depth would have been very less, and they are wearing floppy hats. What you see here is those people wearing jelly suit, and the jelly jelly suit is worn basically just to camouflage yourself. And what you see now is a cross cross hair of uh, probably he's come under he's about to be shot by a sniper. And what this guy is doing is he's actually seeing uh, the entire scenario from top. There's a there's a UAV or the drone which is actually taking the entire scene and passing out the information in a small uh, ground uh, relay station. And uh, from there they are actually passing it on to the people to, to a sniper, and the sniper is taking a shot. You also see somebody coming out of the water, and then you also see this is a sniper shot, and obviously there's no chance. So this scenario, if you actually see, I would again say that uh, it is possible for people to uh, to actually cover a short distance, and then also a sniper to be positioned. Normally, when you actually have an operation where you have to take on a target like this, then you have to have uh, basically a solid party. You have to have a support group, and you also have to have cutoff groups and all those things. So sniper is a very important thing. So basically, you first do the sniper, so you can do sentry silencing. and thereafter the other people who are actually going in the water uh, would actually cover the distance and thereafter they will go and do the raid or or you know they do the assault so in a scale of 1 to 10 i would rate this uh, as around 7 वक्त आ गया है खून का बदला खून से लेने का हियर यू सी द हीरो प्रोटैगोनिस्ट हु एक्चुअली हैविंग अ वेपन अ स्मॉल आर्म्स एंड इज एक्चुअली कमिंग आउट थ्रू द वाटर जनरली व्हाट हैपेंस व्हेन यू हैव अ वेपन एंड यू कमिंग आउट ऑफ द वाटर एंड यू आर आल्सो वेयरिंग अ स्विम मास्क एंड ऑल दिस एक्चुअली वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू टू फायर एक्यूरेटली बट यू नो प्रोबेबली दे हैव टेकन द लिबर्टी इन दिस मूवी Uh, secondly uh, this whole thing seems to be slightly unreal because you do not actually get so close and you know because if you see the background from very close he could have actually entered the water and when you enter the water like this then probably you need to have a diving set so if you don't have a diving set then you either you are swimming and if you are swimming then you have to go on surface you can't be under water so that's something which uh, uh, is something which you need to consider in this shot so if you want me to uh, you know scale this from a scale of 1 is to 10 Uh, I would rate it not more than five because uh, the first, shot, the first few uh, second were something which are not uh, normally the norm in special operations, but the other shot where a sniper shot is something which is very common. you see sunny deol he is a marine commando and actually he is wearing something called a patka and of course a black dress and uh, is uh, having an mp5 in his hand and on the left he has got a dagger now this was a standard dress which i used to wear when i was a marine commando in 1991 again as a coincidence when this movie was being shot i had just finished my marine commando course in bombay and we just moved out and this uh, movie shooting actually started so but uh, very frankly this is not the way you do uh, this operation which is which is being shown in this uh, scene uh, is basically called the MIO maritime intervention operation everything was perfect and uh, what you see now is that these people what they are trying to portray is that uh, they have lowered the boat from the helicopter now now they are one by one they are coming down swimming or rappling into the boat and now the helicopter is gone and now they are actually coming uh, to the target area they are showing sunny they were standing uh, obviously this is not the way uh, you actually approach a target but then for the sake of the movie and to show that he is a heroic person uh, this scene has been depicted 
and then you come very close and then um, ideally speaking uh, you need to if i have the option i need to go under water uh, so that you are not seen by the terrorist and anybody who is actually trying to take a pot shot at you so all these people behind are all actual marine commandos they are real marine commandos they are my buddies yeah so overall rating of this uh, this particular thing see they have shown in bits and pieces everything uh, what a marine commando is supposed to do but they have not shown the way the way they have shown is totally incorrect it is uh, unthinkable and if you try to do this then you are you going to go to grieve you are taking a boy to the harm's way we don't do special operation in daytime this is not the way it is done we have to be clandestine to an extent possible nothing of that sort has been shown here but i think the the movie directors have taken the liberty to portray a person as a heroic person and and also the indian public uh, maybe they have not be totally aware of uh, how special operation is done so they have they have actually larger than life image they have created so to that extent i think it's okay but uh, if you ask me as a professional i would rate it uh, at best 3 to 4 out of 10 not more than that